You'll notice when we're inside of our order here, I have this blue tag that says needs purchasing. This brings us into another section of Inksoft Core called purchasing. Within purchasing, you have the ability to compile your online orders, invoices, and know the exact quantities, styles, colors, sizes, really all the details that you need to know when you're ordering your blank goods from your supplier. Instead of manually jotting down sizes, quantities, let Inksoft do that tedious work for you. Plus, we're all human. There's room for error. And with our purchase orders, it's so simple to know what needs to be ordered so you can begin production and get those orders out the door. As you can see within purchasing, I have four blank products that need to be ordered at the moment. You'll see this yellow warning letting you know that one or more of these items has not been purchased, meaning I didn't collect payment with this test order. So with these blank bodies that are compiled inside needs purchasing, these products are coming from your designer, from stores, from proposals. They're all compiled into this needs purchasing space. From here, we're going to select the blank bodies that need to be ordered from a supplier and create a purchase order or a PO. The Inksoft platform doesn't order blanks for you, so this PO is a comprehensive report of all of the blank products that you need to order from your supplier. Within our purchasing page, you'll notice these four sections at the top. Needs purchasing, purchased, received, and in stock. Needs purchasing is where we're going to start first to actually generate our PO. Purchased is where the products will go after we've created that PO. Received is where we would move the PO after we've received the blank product. In stock is the option if I had this shirt sitting on my shelf in the back, I don't need to order it from my supplier. I could go ahead, select that product, and I could mark it in stock. That way I know I do not need to order that blank product. What we're going to do from here is actually generate a PO. So I'll go ahead and I'll select these two items to order from SNS Activewear. You'll notice when I selected those products, this black bar appeared at the top of the page. I have the option to generate a PO, assign to a current PO that I already had created and I just wanted to add to, and that in stock option. When I click create PO, this is where I'm going to choose what supplier I'm ordering these blank products from. You'll notice I've got a lot of options in my dropdown. Those are all the suppliers that I work with, you know, within my Inksoft account. I can pull whatever supplier I want. And with the rest of the information on this pop-up, the reference number, tracking number, the rest of this is optional. It's up to you if it's helpful for you and your team to know the tracking number and to add in PO notes that are internal, you absolutely can. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to generate my PO. I'll click my blue button, create PO, and you'll notice that those two blank products are going to move out of needs purchasing because we've generated a PO with them. Within this needs purchasing view, there's also a great filter option on the right hand side to filter by store, date range, payment status, manufacturer, really helpful if you're looking to compile certain information or certain products into a specific PO. Now if I move over to purchased, this is where I can see the POs that I've created and you'll see I've got some from the past. I also have the PO I just generated. Within this PO view of the purchase section, I do have some bulk actions. I can select POs and from here you'll see that blue bar where I can go ahead and mark that PO as received. I can also print the PO out. I can download the PO as a PDF or delete the PO. When I click in on the PO, there's also more information. I can look at the product in more detail. I can click in on this product itself and open up, see the order ID, see the status of that payment. There's also options with your POs to mark the PO as partially received. So I can go ahead and I can click on a checkbox here with this specific item. You'll notice now that this Triblend t-shirt, it's received, whereas my ladies Dolman T, it's still outstanding. So that PO will reflect that it's partially received. Really good if you're missing a piece, you need to you know, circle back for production, you know exactly what's going on with that order. But from here, what I can go ahead and do is I'll select both pieces and they're gonna be marked as received. 
you'll notice it automatically updated this PO to move from purchased over to received. And with my PO, really great options to download and print. And to show you what that PO looks like in the PDF view, I've got it pulled up right here. This PDF view of your PO is ideal for knowing the quantities, the styles, all of the information that you need to order from your supplier. Now we're going to hop out of our PO and go back into purchasing. And you'll notice that PO that I just created is living in the receive section. That's where this PO will stay. It's a great way for you to reference that PO if needed in the future. But when it comes to purchasing, it's a really simple system. You know, it's a clear communication of what you need to order from your supplier. And a huge benefit of working with purchasing is that it communicates with your orders in the order manager and in your production manager as well. Everything is tied together and it'll show if products are received, need to be purchased, outstanding, anything like that. It's a simple yet powerful tool, really easy and nothing falls through the cracks.